So we're looking at drier conditions currently here on the Twin Forts as rain is slowly starting to taper out of our region. Mostly cloudy skies, 54 degrees right now, but very strong winds out of the west southwest at 24 mile per hour sustained winds, including those gusts up to about 30 to 35 mile per hour winds. Now I did mention rain totals in some areas saw quite a bit of rain. This is the past 24 hours since that rain began yesterday. Chippewa Port came in at over an inch and a half to Harbor saw close to an inch and a half. Here in the Duluth International Airport, we saw a little over an inch of rain. Pine City saw about an inch, and the Walker and Aiken area saw just under an inch. So most areas through central Minnesota into the areas in northern Wisconsin saw about that inch or so more of that rainfall. And it is slowly becoming to an end as we take a look at the satellite and radar over the past several hours. It has diminished quite a bit in the International Falls area, slowly skirting out of the area of Twin Ports into northwest Wisconsin. But you'll kind of notice a circling pattern, and that's going to be what we're ex going to experience tomorrow afternoon as we're going to see some wraparound moisture from that same system come back around for Sunday. So as we've got that system moving up to the north and east, it is going to create that wraparound pattern. And therefore, that's going to prompt that 30% chance of scattered and spotty showers through the afternoon, mostly in Minnesota, and then into some portions of northern Wisconsin for the day. Very windy conditions, and we'll see a high near 54 degrees. As we head into Monday, though, things get very nice. High pressure slides to our south. So winds come out of the southwest as well, so that prompts in uh, some ushering and some very warm air. We're going to near, near 60 degrees. Very nice to start the week. And things get even nicer as we head into Tuesday. We've got warmer conditions again. High pressure continues to slide to our south and east. Warms things up to 65 degrees, but you'll notice up to our north and west, we've got this long, uh, strong low pressure system, and that's going to be bringing in quite a bit of rain Wednesday through Friday. And then, yes, snow is in the possibility there. Our models are showing some snow. From the back side of that system, we're going to have some very cold Arctic air move in behind it. And that may prompt in a few snowflakes through the day on Saturday. So right now, we're looking at 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. We're going to start the day off with some sunshine here in the Twin Ports, as well as northern Wisconsin. But you'll notice that pattern starts to wrap around again, and we're starting to see some rain showers popping up through the afternoon in Minnesota, through the afternoon, and then it's going to move into northern Wisconsin. So if you're in Bayfield for Apple Fest tomorrow, you might see a spotty shower. But for the most part, it's just going to be very cloudy and really windy if you are along the lakeside tomorrow afternoon. Monday at midnight, though, things start to clear out from our west. High pressure slides in, and Monday morning we start off with sunshine, and we're going to continue to see sun all day long, Monday and even into Tuesday. So enjoy those 60s, because I tell you what, those 30s are on the way and are extended, and I don't see too many 60s returning. 43 tonight, mostly cloudy skies. We've got 30% chance of showers as they begin to taper south to north, and then over in northern Wisconsin. 48 in Ashland, 49 in Washburn. To northwest Wisconsin tomorrow, upper 50s, mostly cloudy skies with that chance for a spotty shower here and there, but nothing like today. 54 up on the hill, 55 down here by the lake. Seven day forecast, I mentioned we've got mid to upper 60s to start the week, but take a look Friday into Saturday. We don't even get out of those 30s. And like you said, Jenna, you saw some snow to end the week, and there it is. There it sure is. Sure enough, but we are a week out, so you that know. That temperature decline is <laughs> awful. <laughs> Almost 30 degree difference between a span of seven days. That should be interesting. Yeah. Thanks, Caitlin. You're welcome.